Are we hiding? Or are we accepting visitors? Mansion. Who's this guy? I like his trench coat, though. You have to admit, she has silver hair, it's long, she has bangs, and she has a purple cloak. It's Makai written all over it. It's a pleasure to see you again, your ladyship. Oh, Salora is in residence and now. And a pleasure to meet you as well, Brigadier General. Brigadier General, okay. <laughs> we were simply in the area, so we thought we might drop by and pay you a visit. It's been quite some time since we last met. I was hoping to take the opportunity to apologize to my master for not staying in touch. But I see that won't be possible. You know, it's funny, they said, I am so-and-so, so-and-so, whatever her name is, and now it's just this military woman. <laughs> Unfortunately so. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded setting eyes on the famous Radiant Blade Master. But I suppose I'll have to be content with meeting his daughter. I'm honored, oh, I don't General. Like There's something, yeah. I can't believe they're here. They seem to be provincial army officers. They're really intimidating. Their names are General Aurelia Le Guin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardius. Okay. They're said to be the two strongest generals in the provincial armies. Yeah. I don't think there are many people interested in martial arts who don't know about them. That's how famous they are. Hmm, interesting. Uh, yes, you're right. We are doing both. Brigadier General Bardius is otherwise known as the Black Whirlwind. The Black Whirlwind. He's known for his unparalleled spearmanship. From what I've heard, he has Nord blood running through him too. I was gonna say, is he from Nord? Oh, I see. Actually, he does kind of remind me of Gaius. He seems pretty strong. A number of warriors from Nord were said to have fought with Emperor Dreykels during the War of the Lions. Yeah. Perhaps he's a descendant of theirs? Yeah, that makes sense. As for the woman with him. She's generally known as the Golden Rakshasa. Oh, wait a minute. Is this... Is this the woman that... Um... The vice principal was going on and on and on about? That he was like, oh, she's a dancer or whatever, but it was Rakshasa or something? Oh, that's it. Rick Riksha? Okay. All right. I thought it was maybe the same name, so that's a different character. Okay. Never mind then. Oh, I've got to stop bumping this thing. Right, but it, he said she's known as the Golden Rock Sha Sha Rock Sha Sa. Yeah, and so it made me think of the other name. Why? You know what I'm, I'm saying. Rixia, thank you. Rick, Rick, is, I'm saying it wrong, right? Rixia. Rixia? From two of the earlier games. Yeah, because I remember when the vice principal then had the picture fall out of his, his book. And it was going on and on and on about her. So for a second, I thought that was the same name because I couldn't remember what the other name was. Oh, come on. Reconnect. There we go. She's also a countess and head of the Le Guin family, as well as commander of the Le Maire Provincial Army. Oh, my. And hard as it is to believe, I've heard she's a practitioner of both the Arsade and Vander schools of swordsmanship. What? Wasn't the Vander school practiced by the guardians of the Imperial family? 
Is she even human? <clears throat> Both of them are key public figures in the Alliance. What could they possibly want in a neutral region such as this, I wonder? Hmm. What Still, could they want? it won't do to have you standing around here. Allow me to show you to my father's office. Klaus, would you prepare some tea? Oh, there's no need to concern yourself with that. Seeing that the Viscount isn't here gave us all the information that we needed. What might you be suggesting? Be at ease. We didn't come to criticize anyone for the Crimson Wing's appearance near Trista. Uh-uh. Still, it's always good to know who you're fighting against. The way I see it, you're continuing to remain neutral now. But if it came to it, you wouldn't be afraid to take up arms for your personal sense of justice. I just noticed, too, his eyes match his trench coat perfectly. <laughs> There's no need to be hasty. We have more than enough opponents to be going on with. Two of the earlier games, though. Are, is that the Trails in the Sky games? I don't... I haven't really looked too much into the other ones because I didn't want any kind of spoilers for these games. So now there's Trails in the Sky... And something. I can't remember the other ones, but I've seen titles, but that's about it. For now, let's focus on drawing out Craig the Red and One-Eyed Zex. We can't allow Rufus to be the only one making any major achievements. Mm. <laughs> True enough. It would please me so if you were to fight under me one day, too. I believe you have the potential to surpass even me, given sufficient practice. I am honored that you would say so. However, my swordsmanship is inexperienced at best. I wouldn't dare presume to have the potential to surpass anyone at this stage. I would ask that you wait until I can at least best my father in a duel before making that invitation. Then wait I shall. I look forward to the day. With that, I believe it's time we took our leave. Good job, Laura. Okay, so Sky was first, then Zero. Okay. Got it. Okay, I couldn't remember the other one. I was thinking Azure sounded familiar when I was in, like, in my head, but I wasn't sure if that was what it was. Perhaps so. I was hoping you would introduce us to your friends, but they seem to be feeling rather shy. Mm. <laughs> Teasing them, are you? Well, I'm sure we'll have the opportunity one day. I sense great potential within them. Yeah. If she states it as a fact, but she's also like stating it in the way that she's like, you know, no, I'm not going with you right now. I'm not ready kind of a way too. That's the other thing I got out of it. But maybe that's just me. As do I. So they basically hopefully I apologize for being unable to do anything to make your visit more comfortable. Klaus, please escort them. As you wish, milady. <laughs> Come to think of it, perhaps you wouldn't mind joining me in a battle before I depart. Oh no. I haven't had the joy in quite some time. Oh no. I hardly think an old man such as myself would prove to be a worthy opponent to one of your strength, General. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. You haven't let your guard down for a second since I stepped into Legram. Yep. Exactly, Laura. Whiskey. I never thought we'd see something like that from <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to see me like that. It took all that I had not to be overwhelmed by their sheer presence. I'm not surprised. We could feel it well enough ourselves and we weren't even in the room. That didn't stop them from noticing us, though. My fur was on end the whole time. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I almost let out a little yelp when they mentioned us. I wonder who'd win between them and Zeno and Leo. Mm, good question, Fee. This just goes to show how many skilled people the Alliance has among their ranks. 
With warriors such as them on the field to say nothing of Lord Rufus Alborea, we can't afford to underestimate them. All very true. Very true. Still, that's no reason to give up now. We need to keep pressing on. And on that note, I think it's about time we left ourselves. Let's go and bring back Eusis. And once we've done that, then we can decide what we're going to do and who we're going to be fighting against. <laughs> Indeed. Then let's start heading to Bereahard. Okay, we have another goodbye at the door of Laura's house. Klaus, I leave Legrom in your care. Should father return during my absence, please give him my warmest regards. But of course, Lady Laura, worry not. Legrom will be in safe hands with me. But if you wouldn't mind, everyone, please do look out for Lady Laura for me. We always do. Thanks for keeping an eye on Emma for so long. Please be well, Klaus. Your words are much appreciated, but unnecessary. I will be perfectly fine, I assure you. The path ahead of you will be fraught with many challenges and dangers, but I will be praying that you will all be able to navigate it safely to its end from there. Forge your own paths. Do keep yourself safe. Thank you, Klaus. We'll be back as soon as we're able. Um, it looks like the generals have left already. Yeah, that's our cue to get going too. But it does look like we'll have to use the highway to get to Berea hard though. That shouldn't be a problem. Following the Ebel Highway North will lead us straight to it. Perhaps we should pay a visit to the Bracer Guild before we head out. The receptionist there might appreciate a goodbye before we move on to Berea hard. Yeah, you're probably right. Laura and Emma joined the party. Laura and Re Irene and Laura can now use overdrive when linked with one another. Irene and Emma can now use overdrive when linked with one another. Reaching Berea hard will cause the main story to advance. Doing so will make all unfinished quests disappear. 